I mean, I think it's, to me, one of the cruelest parts of cancer. I mean, it's almost ironic in that sometimes when people are getting their chemotherapy and they're sick and, you know, they're, not want to say happier then, but they can deal with it more then than when they're done. And I'm saying, oh, you know, you look great. Come see me again in four months. And that's more of a panic because exactly it's kind of unknown and not knowing is to me one of the cruelest parts about cancer is, you know, we always think, oh, you're done. You're looking great. There's no evidence of cancer. Go enjoy yourself. But, you know, for many people, it's, it is paralyzing and it is a great challenge. I mean, we, you know, you try to encourage people, everything looks good now, you know, we'll keep a close eye on things. But I have many patients who just, it's paralyzed. I mean, it's, you know, you talk about needing a lot of doctors. Sometimes we do use, you know, therapists, but it's, and everyone deals with it differently. You know, some patients, they finish their chemotherapy, no worries. They go on their way. And it's just, that's the part that's, you know, you got to deal with everyone as an individual, um, but it's a challenging part of it. One of the things where that's, you know, partly because of that, you know, this whole survivorship movement that um, has a lot to do with breast cancer, but Lance Armstrong, testicular cancer, is just this realization for all of us, the doctors, the patients, that even though we think everything's sort of over in terms of the treatment, there's a lot of issues that go on with people. And so this thought of coming up with better ways to help people after they're done with their initial treatment, a lot of it falls into that area. It's very tricky. And I, everyone deals with it differently. I have some patients who... You know, they want to keep seeing me every week just to check in. I'm like, no, you're doing great. You know, see me in three months. And no, they, they feel better if they come in. I say, you're done with your treatment. This is great. You can go on. You know, go on. It's just they feel better. And, it's, and other people, like I said, they all see again in a year. I'm, I'm happy with everything. So that's the part that you learn that everybody's different. And you just got to try to mold a program that they're comfortable with. And again, you know, from perspective of their quality of life, you try to, you know, compromise and figure out something that's going to help them get through this the best way for them. Mm -hmm.